Welcome back everyone to today's first video and we're going to be looking at the weather for the next couple of weeks and latest on next week's cold spell and we are really certain that we're going to pull the wind in, the wind in uh, from the east next week and it is going to go actually quite cold for some parts of the country. Maybe the south, um, not as cold but with the easterly winds coming in the east gets very cold and further north you go up the country um, it's going to be quite cold so um, yeah, you're going to have to watch the forecast lately because it could go quite cold next week. Probably not that wintry as uh, the, the high pressure will be very close to us. But it is going to be um, quite interesting next week with these easterly winds. We've not seen a cold spell since the start of December uh, and November, start of December. So we are going to see one just now. So let's get into this. Okay, so the current situation looks like this. So, at the moment, um, most of the country is now mild. We were seeing northerly winds in Scotland yesterday, but they have backed off now. There will be a big four of snow because they have been having some blizzards over Scotland and quite a lot of winteriness. So, yeah, Scotland have been having um, quite winteriness. And still, for the east coast of Scotland, we could um, be close to dragging a little bit of an easterly in this there, as you can see. But it won't be nowhere near as cold as it was yesterday as we drag in these westerly winds for most of the country. So that's what the wind flow is looking like and that is what's happening right now. So now we're going to show you the GFS, GEM and ECMWF charts for next week as the cold spell uh, does look very likely now. Um, so we're going to see um, when the cold spell starts and how long it hangs on for. So let's get into this. Okay, so this is the current situation and the 500 millibar heights. We've got high pressure trying to start building over Scandinavia. It could be because of the warming in the stratosphere at the moment. We're not sure if it's going to be an SSW level, but we're definitely seeing a warming. And it probably could affect our weather over the next couple of weeks. And we are bringing the wind in from the west at the moment. So, um, nothing really very cold um, currently, but we are close as you can see, these easterly winds just clip in the coast of Scotland. So we're going to run this through. Um, this is the GFS. We're going to show you the GEM and the ECMWF. So let's do it now. So as we carry on, Happy New Year, by the way, everyone. And uh, as we carry on into the first week of this new year, we actually um, bring the wind, start pulling. That low pressure slides eastwards, as you can see just here. And that lets uh, a little bit of ridge trying to get to towards Greenland to go in. And that starts to bring the wind in from a colder north or north easterly just there. So it goes cold uh, by actually day four. Um, so looking quite certain we are going to get a colder spell just here. That cold spell hangs on and we actually start to drag the wind in from quite a cold easterly there as there is a lot of cold air um, sitting in Europe. So that will probably... That'll qu go quite cold there with winds in from the east, as you can see. Uh, wind e easterly, northeasterly. So, yeah, we're going quite cold with the GFS right here. And uh, we, break we put high pressure over, and that'll probably give us quite a lot of frost and fog. Um, wind will be in from the... Yeah, wind will probably just be in from sort of a... Um, quite a... A lot of frost and, frog, frost and fog around with that. It's probably going to be in from sort of an easterly still, but it won't be as cold as high pressure has built over the country. And we actually keep high pressure over the country, probably going a bit milder by that point, and then going back to frost and fog. And actually going a bit colder there from winds in from the north, just there, as you can see. But if we just got this high pressure up to Greenland here a bit more, shifted it to the west a little bit, we would let this unleash this very cold air, from the northeast, but we're not quite there yet. So we are on the brink of very, very cold, um, but we just don't get there by the end. As you can see, the cold um, in Europe, look at this cold pool sitting here. Um, all we need is this high pressure to go a bit more north and that cold pool will push straight in. So we'll show you the upper air temperatures, show you how cold it actually is at this point, um, at the end of the run. Um, end of the run here. As you can see, look how cold it is um, over Europe just there. Very, very, very cold. So that is, that's what the GFS is looking like um, just now. So now we're going to show you the 
G E M. So let's get into that. So the GEM is going to look like this. So once again, we start off with the same situation over the country. As we go into the first week of the new year, just like this, we once again bring them cooler or probably quite cold northeasterly zone just there. Probably getting the minus five upper air temperatures into the country with that, as you can see. As we continue, we try to build high pressure to the north and we keep the wind in from an easterly just there. And high pressure, and we go quite f foggy, a lot of frost. Probably cr a bit cloudy with that. Um, and then we try to pull it out towards Greenland by the end of the GEM. And we're trying to get it up there. That's where we want it. But the cold, the cold pool, once again, um, sitting just to our east. All we need is this high pressure just to disconnect a little bit to the north. And we'll pull it straight in. That would probably come off like a beast from the east if that came off. But... <laughs> Once again, we're so close to going very cold by the end of this run, but not quite. So now we're going to show you the ECMWF. Um, it's going to look like this. So here we go. Okay, so it's once again, same situation as we start off. And then into next week, we... Actually, that looks a bit more of a... That looks quite cold there from the ECMWF. That looks... Uh, coldest so far just there with the wind actually pulling in from the east um just there and look at this cold pool sitting over here as well so that will be quite a cold um easterly just there so that's probably the coldest so far by the 6th of january so keep that wind in from the east and actually yeah it does keep it in more from the easterly and um, high pressure does come over eventually but only just so that run actually keeps it cold um once it goes cold it doesn't really um go mild again so that runs quite cold um and cool cold a lot of frost and fog though as the high pressure builds in by that point now i want to show you the gfs ensembles chart very quickly here we go okay so um first of all this is for london as you can see up here um it's the 850 hpa temperatures and the precipitation for the next couple of weeks so the average is this big red line just here, this is a 1991 to 2020 uh, average right there. And currently we're a little bit below average, as you can see, we're going to go back up. And then you see this slide when we bring them easterly winds in. And we actually never really recover. We maybe go up a little bit here, but we never really get back to average or above average until the end there. So definitely a colder spell is being hinted by the GFS today. Which again, very, very wet over the next couple of days, as you can see. And then it goes drier when that high pressure builds in over from the south. So, as you can see, the GFS ensembles looking a lot like the operational run, really, today. So, that is GFS ensembles. And we're going to finish off with the ECMWF charts. So, here we go. Okay, so we're going through the ECMWF uh, weekly forecast for 500. Uh, Melbar Heights um, weekly and monthly. So this is week one, the first eighth of January, and it already looks interesting. So ECMWF go for even colder than any of the runs we just saw. We've got high pressure blocking to Greenland and Scandinavia. It looks like a very cold pattern. Winds in for a cold easterly just there. Maybe the far south, southeast, just getting westerly, then a bit milder. But most of the country there, it's probably going to be a line about there somewhere. Most of the country are. Um, actually very cold uh, from the east i would say with that and uh, the beastly easterly from uh, ecmwf today so very very cold uh, from ecmwf so far so let's see what week two has in store so here we go week two looks like this um yeah and this is following most of the run today we got a huge blocking area high pressure towards greenland and we will be bringing the wind in from um the east, um, northeast there. So wind coming in from the northeast, uh, or yeah, northerly, northeasterly for week two as well. So once again, a lot, most of the models going cold for today, as you can see. Very, very interesting. Um, before yesterday, there was no sign of any cold really, and then we switch around like this and uh, go cold. But obviously, it could backfire. Uh, we saw this for Christmas. We saw cold for Christmas. Uh, it just collapsed um, a day before Christmas and we ended up with another 
Glasgow Mile Green Christmas for the UK. So um, don't take it too seriously, but it is looking likely that we're going to go colder in the week to come. So thanks everyone for tuning in today's um, first video. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. And also thank you everyone for 60 subscribers. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for all of the um, people watching my videos at the moment and supporting the channel. So thank you everyone. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.